Well, hey there, pen fans. Brian Goulet here from GouletPens.com, and I got something pretty cool to show you today. This is the Sailor Naginata Togi Nib. This is something that typically has only been available in their bespoke line because it's kind of a hard grind to do, not something that's done in like a mass production type scenario, um, but it's something that they're ever so slowly opening up availability on across the US. So I wanted to introduce that to you today, show you what the nib is all about, and uh, let you see for yourself a nib that is not available anywhere but Sailor. So I have in my hands here, this is the Sailor 1911 Naginata Togi. This is one of Sailor's special nibs, and it's on the 1911 body, the 1911 L, the large size. So it's the middle, you have the SL and then the King of Pens. This is right there in the middle. It says, uh, Sailor Japan 1911 special nib on the center band, as opposed to your typical 1911, which just says Sailor Japan founded 1911. Other than that, the pens are pretty similar, except for, of course, the nib. The nib design is a little bit different on the two pens. You have a little more embellishment on your conventional nib here. It's got some special design things going on, and uh, it's still got the anchor, the 1911, but it has a little fewer embellishments. However, that's not what makes this pen so special. The Naginata Togi is sort of a pen that is similar to, if you're familiar with the Architect grind, it's kind of like a cross between an Architect grind and Sailor's Zoom nib. So what does that mean? Well, if you look at the tipping material, it's ground so that it tapers a little bit. So you get a little bit of variation between the downstroke and the cross stroke. And then it also writes thinner when it's pointed up and thicker when it's pointed down. And I'll demonstrate all that for you today. There are three different nib sizes that I have for this. Medium, fine, medium, and a broad. And uh, I thought I would go ahead and uh, show you what they all look like when they write. This one I have here, this is the medium fine. And you can tell because it says N and then MF on the side. Sorry, I can't really see that very well. There you go, N, MF. That means Naginata, medium fine. So if I'm writing with it fairly straight up, just like this, you can see I can get some very thin downstrokes. However, if I come down to like the mid height, it gets a little thicker. And if I come down low, it gets thicker like that. So that's similar to a zoom nib, right? Zoom nib has kind of that same thing going on, but what's a little bit different about this one is it's got a little bit of architect nature as well. So if I'm doing a cross stroke like this, also very thin, go to the mid midpoint, it gets way thicker, and then low, it gets much thicker. So you can see here how much thicker the cross strokes are than the down strokes. So that is more similar to an architect. So for example, if I go down stroke, cross stroke, so you can see there that there is a variance. So it's kind of like the opposite of a stub nib. This is a really difficult grind to do. That's why these pens cost so much. It's not that the pen itself is so unique and special. I mean, it's got a little different nib design. It's got a little different, you know, center band, but it's the grind that does it all. And it's ground to be extra springy as well. So it's, it's a little softer, a little springier. You can actually get a little bit of line variance. So if I'm just writing normal pressure versus if I write with heavier pressure, I mean, you don't get that normal level of nib, you know, variance. Uh, just with writing pressure with your typical 21 karat large sailor nib. So again, here we go. So I'll go ahead and do some writing samples for you. Naginata Togi. And this is the medium fine. Okay. And then I'll just do a few scribbles. So I got my high. Now when you write really high angle, you can probably hear it <laughs> grabbing onto the paper a little bit. High angle, 
medium angle, low angle. Just look at that difference. Okay, my high, some X's, medium, X's, low, X's. Pretty dramatic, huh? Let's go to the medium. All right, so now this is going to be the medium nib. Not as dramatic a difference as the medium fine. It's definitely a little broader, a little wetter. So here if I go high angle, it's going to be a very fine line, much like the medium fine. Do a few X's. If I go a little lower. medium angle. Now it's wetter. Now you can tell the difference. It's starting to separate itself a little bit from the medium fine. And then we go low angle. <laughs> I need a little bit more than this five millimeter ruling is uh, given me here. There you go. So it writes a little broader, a little wetter. So this one you get a high degree of variance. I think you get the best range of really fine to really broad using the medium. Now, do you want to see an absolute fire hose? <laughs> because that's what you get with the broad. All right, let's do this. Naginata Togi broad. This one feels very smooth, that I will say. But you can see already, I angle, not angle, angle. Okay, that's your high angle. Here's your medium. <laughs> yes, this is the medium angle. Are you ready for the low angle? Are you actually ready? Do you think you can handle this? All right. I need a little extra breathing room for my low angle. That thing is just an absolute fire hose. So there you go. There's your difference between your medium fine, high, medium, low angle, medium, high, medium, low angle, and broad, high, medium, low angle. The broad feels the smoothest, definitely has the best writing feel, in my opinion. All the nibs are extremely pleasant to write with, but there you go. That is the Naginata Togi. So there you have it. If you want to learn more about the nib and the available options for the pen, check out goulepens.com. Be sure to leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the nib or if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. <laughs> uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and right on.